Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. We are off to Warsaw for today's daily challenge, which will see motorways requiring road tiles. Ah, oh, awful, awful. But at least we start with three of them, which is mm, something, I suppose. We've got two orange houses going down to this orange business. Oh, we've got a stretchy back pained goog. What more could you possibly want? Could probably want my heat to not be blasting, but uh, I got out of bed late and it was cold. So listen, the heat's gonna heat until the heat doesn't heat. And then there will be heat for the heat didn't need to heat. That's a lot of heat, basically. All right, it's fine. We've got these greens right over here. We shall run them like so. There's one dude who I see on, on TikTok who says the word cheese just like that. You know, you put some chaz on, on, on your meal or whatever. It's, it's fine. It's, it's what it is. Ah, I hit the scroll wheel. It's the most confusing feature. I don't, I, I don't understand why, like, I get... Okay, so this zooms in like a tiny little bit, right? And we'll take two traffic lights here. This 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 zooms in a tiny little bit. I guess it lets you see more detail of the cars, which d does this allow for finer precision management? Is is that what that's for? I guess that could be what that's for. Here. We're going to ever so slightly restructurate these greens going this way up into here. We'll kill that bridge. We'll take these two over to here. Boop. Good morning, Paula Ghost. Ghosty is here, but she was not first. That honor goes to Sun Flare Space. Good afternoon, Sunny. Oh, God. Uh, let's bop that, get rid of that. When the map gets crazy and big, zooming in is nice to make sure you put things down where you want. I suppose. Like, if, if it sprawls out all the way, it is helpful to get right in here and make sure you're threading needles. I've never really found that the squares are too small. Sometimes I have a problem drawing straight lines, but I figured that's just a me thing. But, you know. It, it, it's probably some combination of Catholicism and depression that anytime something goes a little bit wrong in my life, my instinct is, oh, that's my fault. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. It's 7.02 in the morning. We're not supposed to get real yet. Let's run this orange road down here. It'll be fine. I'm actually going to swipe this orange house away. We'll have four go into this circle. These two go down that away. Give me 30 road tiles. Doot. Nora, what do you want? What? Yeah, hi. Yes, I acknowledged your existence, and I looked at you, and I said your name. I don't have a treat. You're doing the come get a treat dance. I don't have a treat. Come here. Let me pet you. Oh, there's a kitty cat. There's a kitty cat. She is very meowative. That is a true fact about the underscore Googs kitty cat. Purples will slide down into this purple house. I could have run them around this way, but no. You know what I'm noticing just now about Warsaw? And this is Warsaw, right? The color palette here reminds me of Looney Tunes, specifically the Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote cartoons. This is very American Southwest pastiche going on here with the, the tans and the oranges and the lighter tans. I don't know. I, I could be making shit up, but it feels very New Mexico. Just imagine a little bird running around the clock, running around the top going, meep, meep. I, I, I can't do a good meep, meep, apparently. We learn things about ourselves every day, and mine, my self-knowledge for the day is that I cannot do a good meep, meep. A shame, really. Oh, God. Oh, I'm tired and I want to do nothing. However, I am committed to do something. Specifically, 
Specifically, a friend of mine is getting married in New Jersey this weekend. And another friend of mine who lives in Connecticut is also invited to that wedding. So, tomorrow morning I'm going to drive to Connecticut and then tomorrow afternoon the two of us are going to drive to New Jersey. And then the and then we're going to go to a celebration of weddingness. And then we're going to you, you probably go back to Connecticut and crash. Uh it's not anyone you know, Boggers, I don't think. It's uh it's my friend Jarrett who is like a baseball person so uh you you may have seen me retweet him but other than that i don't think you've met you you definitely haven't met jared okay uh let's see here we have these beiges up here uh give me a bridge okay great so we've come into possession of a bridge this is very good and helpful what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this orange down this way, actually. Boop, boop. Uh, actually, let's do this. I've got a plan. You come down this way, we'll do a traffic light right here, okay? So these oranges, there you go. These oranges are gonna come down this way, we'll do a traffic light right here. These beiges, uh, I lied, maybe. Nope, I didn't lie. We don't even need the traffic light. I've just barely managed to snake this beige road, swingy yuppie, over here-ishly. So the beige road can do that. That's gonna free up these purples, boop, 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 and boop, to go up this way, over to here, and now every business is accounted for. Nobody's fucked over. This circle has five. This circle has five. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Scratch my head. Scratchy itch my heady head. All right. Uh, ooh, gross. We got these, uh, these lime greens, which, you know, the color's fine or whatever. But uh, we're basically forced to deploy... Uh, oh, let's pop this way instead. Save a couple of road tiles as we drop motorway number one, going this way over to here. Lovely. What doesn't really count as lovely, and what I certainly didn't beckon, is this beige going circular. Like, okay, you've got three houses here, but we need more than that. Come on now. I know I've made this joke recently, but not even the Fire Emblem game ha only had three houses. That remains pretty much the only thing I know about Fire Emblem colon three houses. There are at least four houses. Mm. Let's take a, another bridge, given that we don't have any bridge. It's very important that you have bridge. What else are the old ladies going to do to entertain themselves? Uh, more purple over this way is, mm, broadly speaking, fine, I guess. Yeah, if we get a couple of purples to spawn up here, then it's totally cool. Let's run you down this way and then over to here, like so. So these purples can angle themselves up this way and go into there. I could steal a couple from here and make a convoluted bullshit road if I need to, but I don't want to need to, quite frankly. So let's hope that we don't need to. Speaking of needing to, uh, ooh, I need two beiges over here, and I got two beiges over here, so that's something. Motorway number two can go off that away, using a whole bunch of road tiles. Oh, buddy. Oh. Oh, please don't make me choose between motorway and road tiles this weekend game. It would uh, would not be a good choice. Here, you come down that way. It's also not the best choice, which is a cheesy reference to The Outer Worlds, which is a very, very, very good video game that we have previously played here on the channel. Can we complete this uh, street? Oh my god, the game is literally presenting me with the choice I asked it not to present me with. Okay. I'm going to take 30 road tiles here just because I, if I take a motorway, the motorways are useless to me. 
because they cost road tiles. So we're going to do that. So these greens over here are just going to share. This is probably fine, honestly. You've got this business. We've got this business. They've got plenty of greens here. I don't think this is going to be a problem for at least a month. Uh, Boggers ended up muting the stream when you played when I played Trolley Problem because they had to do a thing, missed like 80% of it, and now the game's on sale for less than four bucks and they got it. Hey, cool. Trolley Problem Inc. is it's a cool concept that stretches itself entirely too far, in my opinion. Like, I, I enjoyed playing Trolley Problem Inc. I feel like whatever point it was trying to make got lost on me after the seventh iteration and the most ridiculous applications of it. But, you know, that's just me. It was cool. And for less than $4, it is absolutely worth picking up. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you, I hope you have a good time. Ow. I also hope that I get a bridge this week. Hey, look, a bridge this week. Bucking, brilliant game. Thank you. You go down that way. Good morning, Luke Ainsworth. Drop those lovely emotes in the chat. The Mercy Wing, the Raves, the Luke Loves. Oh. God, do we need a goo glove? I don't know what a goo glove would be. It would be Mick Foley dancing in a tie-dyed t-shirt, obviously. Glorious. All right, so we've got we've got greens spawning down here, probably in reaction to this going circular. Uh, ooh. Oh, if if one more green spawns over here, I have a plan. Yes. Yes, brilliance. Okay, you come up over to here. Tally, the tally is basically a goo glove emote. That's true. That's a true fact. Now then, these greens are gonna come this way and they're gonna go up and they're gonna go around and they're gonna go in. Okay, so I've severed the connection between this circle and this square. This square is now being serviced by these two, bit, two houses. This circle is only being serviced by, this is the only thing rather, being serviced by four, five, eight houses over this away. Boop and boop. The tally emote is a damn good emote, Ghosty. You know, if only there was some way we could financially support the creator of the tally emote. Some, some store, some website we could go to that might have, you know, goods and services. Mostly goods, actually. There are very few services available at tinyurl.com slash ghostbubble. But goods! Oh, oh, the, oh, we've got goods. There are goods. If only there was a place to go. H however shall we do that? Now then, with our requisite shameless plug out of the way, uh, we need to do, 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 don't advertise that. <laughs> You'll get in trouble. Oh, God. All right. Um, we need dark greens to get over this way, which is kind of a situation problem. It's not great. Um... I could put, you could move the purple road over the green center. Yeah, I could like, I could run this purple road up here. That would be a way to get this one lone house down here. Um, there were some words I used to describe this house that may indicate my feelings about its efficacy, but you know, it'll be fine, question mark. All right, so these purples will come over here. This one lone green will come down this way and snake its way into that business. That'll at least keep it from immediately dying. Uh, I could swap, swipe this down to here. That would be something. I could hope I get more spawns. Can, can you just stay alive for a, a week or two and we see if maybe you inspire a, a wave of dark green migration? You know? 
get your friends a uh, poison ivy and Elphaba and um, Oscar and other green characters. Kermit, you know, Kermit, Kermit's a little lighter green, but it's okay. We we can we don't have to we don't have to be. Uh, I, I I forgot the term. You know what I mean though. Get over here. Uh, give me. Uh, I've got enough road tile that I can take a. We'll take a third motorway here. We do have enough road. Yeah, Shrek, Shrek. Listen, I'm trying to think of dark green characters. Kermit is not particularly dark green. It's not easy being green. You're being, he's being judged by, uh, by the greenness of his skin right now. It's awful for Kermit. I feel bad for that frog. Hey, why did I draw this? Uh, why did I make that line curvy? That line didn't need to be curvy there. Be straighter, line. Now I'm judging lines for their straightness. Hold on. That's that's never good. I may need to reconsider some things. Uh, speaking of reconsidering things, we should... I want to separate these five light greenhouses in such a way that they... So these two are going to come up here, snake into that business. We're going to take these three go up this way and yeah we'll do an awkward corner right here just to get these three into this and actually if I do that hold on I don't necessarily need this awful hook right here we can have a different awful hook there you go Okay, so that works just fine. These greens are the harlots and the hussies. These greens are the swingers and the cheats. And everything works out just fine for now until we inevitably get, say, this double plaza up here, which isn't great, but it should be fine. Give me a roundabout. Uh, we've got, ooh. A couple of different beige nonsense is going on. Okay. That's broadly speaking fine. How are you being serviced, little beige business? You are being serviced by motorway number two. Hey, what if we take motorway number two, move it up to here. Then we take these greens right here, run them that away. They'll go into the northern entrance of this business. And then the beiges right here will attack this from the south. Following which, we take motorway number three, run it from these two beige houses into that go right up there. Okay. So as soon as this motorway unfutzes itself, which it will once this car leaves. There. You go away, you slide into there. So now we have these two greenhouses taking care of this business. This one greenhouse is actually doing tremendous work keeping this business afloat. That's not gonna last forever or nothing, but honestly, it's lasted longer than I thought it would, so. All right, what do we got? Uh, this can, this green went circular at some point when I wasn't paying attention. That appears to be fine, honestly. Uh, similarly, this orange down here being a circle is just a way to increase the score. Like, I'm not concerned really at all about this orange circle or... I, this green circle only has four houses going to it, which is kind of concerning, I guess. But... This is a very short road. There's nothing in the, in the way of it. There isn't even much like traffic overflow because we've got one place where cars spawn and then they come up here. I think this is just good, honestly. This is gonna be fine for a long time. This is gonna be fine for a long time. Uh, this green here going circular is not great, but also not the end of the world because what I can do oh, is reposition 
this road here such that, boop and boop. We'll take all five of these, run them into this circle, and then I'm just gonna swap. Yeah, I'm gonna take these two greenhouses from up here, run them, run them into this business, and yeah, we'll keep an eye on this. This one might need to shift allegiances at some point, but we'll see about that. Now, you up here are an orange. I don't really love that, but if this thing is going to be okay with one house, then I have to believe that this thing is going to be okay with one house, at least for a, a minute or six. Like, eventually we'll get a couple more orange houses to spawn up here, and we might be able to pull this back, but yeah, this looks like it's going to be just fine. Down here, I still don't love this, but anything I do would have to be stolen from something else. So, don't love that either. All right, uh, this circle's good. This is the dark green that only has one house, but so far that one house is doing enough to keep it alive give me a third bridge rather than a second roundabout this light green circle still has uh, four five six houses supporting it and at least like yeah three of those have all their cars in their driveway and two of them have a couple so this uh this green circle is totally fine this double plaza here is pretty much the ideal double plaza they've got two short roads with two houses each those houses have cars in their driveways. One B, one R, one go up north, one go down south. Neither of these are circles yet. So eventually, if, you know, we've seen it before. If a plaza becomes a double circle plaza, then that plaza is just fucked and there's literally nothing I as the player can do about it. But at a double square plaza right now, these, these folks are fine, you know? This is this is totally cool. Uh, this light green circle we just talked about, it's got these. This orange circle is doing okay. It only has four houses going to it, but uh, similar to, give me another motorway. Similar to this, there isn't much overlap in terms of cars hitting, like over here is what I mean by overlap, right? A car leaving this house has to deal with this driveway, this driveway, all of these driveways, and then get up this road, right? These cars don't have that problem. They come out of their driveway right here. They have to pass one house, and then they go straight to the business. So that's cool. Uh, ooh. Purple up here, you say? That's unfortunate. Obvious answer here is obvious, but that in the long term is doomy. So let's not do it, actually. We're going to do something else. These two purples here are going to run up and over and in. So we're going to run these two purples straight to that business, these two purples to this business. I have one, I have a couple more purple houses down here, actually. Hold on. Hold the phone. We might be able to do something a wee bit better than us. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, so this green right here is going to come a little bit tighter to the double plaza before angling out this way. That's gonna put a third green, a third purple into this house, which isn't actually, well, hmm. I could get, all right, you go up that away. If I do that, then I can run these purples here, okay. So now I have one, two, three purples going to this business. 
and one, two, bop, 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 with a traffic light, three purples going up here. Ho, ho. Ghosty asks if it's wrong that they have manipulated the northern sea salt and golden honey markets in Final Fantasy XIV because some asshats decided to sell for way lower than expected, so you bought all the low-priced salt and honey to resell for twice the price. I mean, we just had this discussion last night when I tried to undercut the coke market, and, uh, and apparently coke is an actual thing. Um, individual actors acting in their own individual rational self-interest on a single person scale is fine. However, if everyone does it, eventually the market falls apart, turns to shit, and everyone suffers. It's almost as if unrestrained libertarian capitalism is bad. Or maybe it's only bad when Chief Bezos does it. That could be true as well. We had a couple light greenhouses spawn up here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill this green road that isn't being used for anything and just slide it down here. We've established that the price is 924. Don't fucking sell it for 520. I mean, this, now it sounds like you're punishing someone for going against the cabal. It sounds like you were colluding with the other honey sellers to fix the price and then some some upstart ne'er-do-well showed up and was like, oh, actually, I can get away with selling them for 500. Why do we sell it for 900? We're just fleecing people. So, so, so ghosty. Our, our, it sounds like you might have established a honey monopoly. Or rather, you're punishing someone for breaking your honey monopoly. Is that what's happening? <laughs> yes, there are multiple sellers, but if you're all colluding, then you have a functional honey monopoly. Which, listen, a functional honey monopoly is the title of the episode. Thank you. I might just shorten it to honey monopoly, actually. It's a good title. Man, it's a good thing that you didn't, like, figure out a way to sell Vieira-exclusive gear with this cabal of yours, or else you'd have a Bunopoly. You did, in fact, pay them the... Okay, so what you did is you, you bought all their honey, and they got the price they wanted for their honey, and then you turned around and sold it for... Okay, okay... <laughs> Okay, so you're not like you're not running them out of business or anything. You're just you're drop shipping is what you're doing. You're buying the honey off of Honey Baba and then turning around and buying like Amazon ads or something and reselling the honey at a gross up cost. Okay. Okay. I see now. I understand. <laughs> We're going to reposition these purples going up this way. You, They got their money. They got what they wanted. You saw an opportunity and made a profit. Okay. Okay. I mean, at a certain level, this is good business sense. This is like thrifting, right? Is what you've done. You're, you're a thrift store reseller, which um, I should mention was in the category of people of do uh i forgot what this what the thing was but uh do people who can get the fuck off my tiktok thrifty makes shit cheaper for you that's true i hate real life capitalism but bitch don't undercut my honey mark you've got a good thing going here she all right, is now a good time to mention that I have a heart out for this episode, which is a problem because this um this uh, this run is doing pretty darn solidly, honestly, I think. Like 
there's we're up over 2700 nothing is actively on fire at least not yet um hmm you know what i'm realizing a potential problem we're gonna kill this bridge right here and i'm gonna restructure this green road and actually the the problem isn't the green road it's these beiges and unfortunately i'm gonna have to burn a bridge doing a very stupid tiny little thing i just want to get this beige house onto this road to make sure that there's a third beige to support this business that is why we have done this thing so we've done that thing you have no idea how much I make from honey and salt. I have a problem. Well, this isn't a problem. This is just an experience that I have with Final Fantasy XIV. Money doesn't mean anything to me right now. Like, the only times I spend gill in Final Fantasy XIV is a tiny little pittance whenever I teleport, which I think I've managed to convince myself doesn't actually matter. I used to feel so bad about spending money on teleporting, but then I realized that like, okay, you spend 300 gil six times teleporting, but then you complete one quest and are given 5,000 gil. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's nice if you have the, the free company action that makes teleporting cheaper or whatever, but it doesn't actually matter. So, uh, speaking of things that matter, uh, we're going to restructure these greens such that we get a second green onto this road to support this this business down here. So, so I spend pittances of money teleporting and... Every once in a while, particularly when I need lumber, because I haven't bothered picking up carpenter yet, although the, the operative word is yet, I think next time I'm in Gridania, I'm just gonna start being a carpenter. This is how you become a goddamn Omnicrafter. Um, when I need like lumber or some other special material for a crafting project, I'll go to the market board and kind of feel like I'm getting fleeced on lumber. But that's it. Like, I don't spend money on things. I don't know what there is to spend money on. I'm well past the game where any shop... I'm well pa past the point where any shop is going to sell me great gear for the money I have. Or at least any shop that I run into. Uh, let's take... I've got 112 road tiles. We're good on road. We're going to take a sixth motorway and maybe never use it. I, I keep wanting to get into the hunting, but I don't know how it actually works. I, I, I worry that it's not as simple as FF12, which is what I want it to be. So I don't... I don't do shit. <laughs> Um, let's see here. But yeah, I don't have anything. To, I don't spend money in 14 on anything meaningful. Good morning, Samurai Sam. Sam, we are up over 3,500. I, I should mention, by the way, uh, the last time we streamed, Wednesday morning, I was number one in the world at the end of Gimimimim, and that held on. That maintained that per persevered or whatever. That was number one for the whole entire day. And that felt very good. Hooray. I suppose this technically makes me a defending champion, but um, Ghosty will tell me how hunting works in 14. That is excellent. I will, there's like a 6% chance I will retain this information. But the beautiful thing about Parlor Ghost and Bagoonicorn is that even when I say, look, I know you told me how to do this and I've completely forgotten it. They love talking about it and or are willing to humor me enough that they're just like, okay, I'll tell you again. And then they tell me again. And sometimes I retain that information. I, I didn't say that, Boggers. I didn't say that. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Please don't ask me for a true fact about professional wrestling. 
<laughs> okay, um, good God. All right, uh, this green business has finally gotten around to being angry, which, listen, this green business has been woefully underrepresented for pretty much the entire run, so I understand. Now, uh, we did just bulldoze a tree, but in so doing, we've got one, two, three greens right here. These one, two, three greens right here could take a big, long, stupid motorway all the way over to here, but why would they do that? Self, they shouldn't do that. Instead, they should come down this way and swing themselves into this business. That will take these one, two, three greens into this business and free up these one, two, three greens who are much closer to this stupid business to take motorway number four and just kind of business themselves. There. Now you business up over that away. You three, honestly, these three with a straight shot motorway might just be enough to keep this business running. So if that turns out to be the case, then I can take these two, run them down here. I can take these three, run them up this way. That's gonna be lovely. Speaking of things that are lovely, however, this, this, business right up here has a problem and its problem is uh hmm all right i'm gonna do something exceedingly stupid because i've always wanted to see how this actually works we're gonna run a motorway there and a motorway here boop boop you go there and then you're both gonna feed into here so my thinking here here's my thinking rather than have like a motorway that gets off right here and another motorway that creates an intersection here what if both of these motorways just feed into a roundabout and the traffic just flows huh that doesn't actually sound like the stupidest thing i've ever done we'll see it could be the stupidest thing I've ever done. But it could not be. It's conceivable to me that this actually works. I don't know if it's actually going to, but you know. Sam, you have a point. Again. If I have done nothing with my Twitch career other than this, and uh, viewership on most YouTube videos will indicate that it is true. Uh, I have taught Samurai Sam many true facts about professional wrestling, and I have created the greatest mini motorways god there ever was, and his name is Samurai Sam, and he is scary. This is true. Now, I've got four motorways and a problem. Let's take... This or so the problem is this orange circle is starting to pull all of the orange houses out of here. We're going to run this down this way. Now, motorway number six is going to be run over here so that these three oranges go into this orange business. I've got the road tiles to pay for that. I've got the motorways to pay for that. I feel like that's actually a decent plan. Boggers, you do know a true fact about professional wrestling, and that is that John Moxley is the wet dude. What else do you need to know, really? All right, so these three base houses are doing most of the work going into here. Uh, give me a fourth motorway. Vince McMahon is a dick. That's true. That's true. You may not have known that without the intervention of the underscore Goog. Uh, let's reroute real quick. I'm going to grab this beige road and do that. By doing that, I can run this orange house down to this orange circle and get another house supporting that circle because that's good. Uh, the Rock is a Republican, and The Rock would very much like it if people didn't realize that until such time as The Rock decides to run for president, which, mm, I, you know, if you're The Rock, here's the thing, here's my problem with things like, oh, The Rock is going to run for president, or oh, Taylor Swift could be president. If you're The Rock, right, 
And maybe The Rock is just wired this way, maybe it means a lot personally to Dwayne Johnson. Why would you run for president if you're The Rock? Like, do you really? Why do you want that job? It's such a hard job. You're, you're gonna be so bad at it. Like, even if you have ideas on policy or whatever, you're gonna be so bad at it. There's so much about being president that nobody tells you and nobody knows until you are the president. And all of that shit sucks. It sucks so bad. It's bad and it's dumb and it sucks so bad to be the president. And it's like, why? I get it. Listen, I get it. If you're a power mad dictator or a quasi billionaire financial criminal who's desperately trying to dodge punishment for the crimes he's committed, or if you're just a crazy person, right? If you're a legitimate person who thinks you actually should be the most powerful person in the world. And listen, I've made many jokes on this channel about how the ideal system of government is a benevolent socialist dictatorship controlled by me and the people I say are in charge after I die. And on one level, that's true. But on another level, I should not be in charge of the world. That would be bad. That would be so bad. I would be so bad at that job. And also, <laughs> despite what some presidential administrations may have acted like, and despite what occasionally the news media would have you believe, there is a difference, there is a small difference between being president of the United States and being unquestioned absolute dictator of the entire planet Earth. <laughs> Hi, Jer. So, so even if you win the election and you get elected and you become president, you are not the absolute unquestioned dictator of the entire planet Earth. And if you are not the absolute unquestioned dictator of the entire planet Earth, what is the fucking point of being the fucking president? It's so hard. And you're so bad at it. And everybody's so mad at you. Why would anyone want this job? Let's take motorway number seven and slide it up into here. I, I am indeed, holy crap, over 6,000. This has been a very good run. Also, I'm keeping an eye on the clock. I seriously do have a hard stop. I have things that I need to start doing at eight o'clock. So we're keeping an eye on the time, but uh, we're also keeping an eye on these dark greens. These dark greens are dying and that's mm, problematic. It's kind of, kind of, Mm, kind of interesting that you would choose to die at such time dark greens and you might want to take that down you know i'm not i'm not telling you what to do you don't live your truth and all that but really dying it's 2024 dark greens is that is that do you think that's still a thing we do that's not still a thing we do that's not done <sighs> all right do i have any dark greens anywhere that can actually support that business uh i've got this one We've got this one dark green house that's currently not doing anything other than that um no i don't have any dark greens so you see over here with motorway number seven we're running into the problem that i wanted to avoid by building this roundabout the problem specifically being uh hey look an orange house to support this dying orange business lovely so the problem is cars are coming off the motorway and then immediately creating a traffic jam right here and this up here is I wanted to avoid that. And I feel like I've done a good job with that. Actually, I feel like this is working out very well. But um, yeah, I just don't have the dark green muscle like all the these dark greens are all busy going over here. These dark greens, they're not sitting idle or anything. They're going over here. These dark greens are already coming up in here. These dark greens are already running down here. I've got one dark green house right here, and I've got one dark green house right here. So, eh, buttons. 
Uh, do I have any oranges sitting around not doing anything? Because this business is getting mad. This business is getting mad. I've got these two, but they're kind of stapled awkwardly to this purple road. I can't pull them anywhere. You know what? I think it might just be ant farm time. Uh, yeah, this purple business as well. This up here is going to get mad. This is We're out of houses here. Um, this is just barely not mad dying. Uh, this green is just barely hanging on. Actually, I think this orange might die first. Yeah, this orange is going to run out before the dark green does, I bet. Because we've, we've only got four houses coming here. And this has got six coming to it, at least. Uh, you know... Immortality, if you can choose to die, would probably be the best. But if, if you're never going to die, that's going to be bad. Because, like, eventually all the shit goes away. And then it's just forever with nothing. Which, mmm, bad. What's not bad is 7,682 commuters over 179 days. I'm going to go out on a limb and call that a good score. It's only top 2% in the world. Curse you 15 other people, although not Samurai Sam. Drop those GGs in the chat. Damn you, it's Gendo. Ah! Blast from the past, it's Gendo. Damn you, Melanco Pluff. Ninja Oak. Ah, look behind. There's a Ninja Oak back there. Xvim. I shall avenge myself one day. Xvim. Yeah, you will take my former vigor and like it. Xvim for. Okay, fine. All right. So it is 7:46. We have some time. Let us bring in our very bestest friend, Mr. Wordle. Curse you, level 99 thought. Oh, uh, there's an S in the word. That's nice. Uh, it could be flash. It's not, but it could have been. And we've learned some things. So let's see here. Uh, Sunny. Sunny what? Wordle screen. Ah! Oh. Oh, I should probably, you know, hit, hit, hit the button. Do that. <sighs> yeah, I should probably do that, huh? Okay. Well, now it's up. Uh, we've got this. You come over this way. All right. What could this be? Uh, it can't be trash because there's no R. It can't be brash because, again, there's no R. Uh, it can't be really any pirates because it's not indeed, well, there is no R. Um, can't be quash because there's no U. It could be, it can't be plush because there's no L. Also, there would be a U in that as well. Um, <laughs> it's Bwash It's a tiny little baby trying to say that the person is being very aggressive There's Bwash No It's, uh, it's Elma Fudd taking out his garbage It's Twash No Alright fine Uh what about Hmm Sports pun is correct. It could be uh, Elma Fudd's favorite relief pitcher, Matt Blash. <laughs> you ever tried out an impression for the first time ever on a live microphone in a Twitch stream and had it sound in your head fairly decent? Like there might be a C plus there. I think I might have a C plus Elmer Fudd, which you know, it is not smash. Uh, it could be stash. Could absolutely be Private General Major Stash. Uh, it's stash indeed. Hooray!
I've told this story before, but uh, in lieu of doing connections or the Immaculate Grid or anything else, I'm going to do this quick true fact about professional wrestling, and then we're going to end the stream because, again, I have a hard stop. So, one time, WCW put together a faction called the Misfits in Action, and these guys were dudes who had been in storyline fired from the company but had come back as a renegade paramilitary organization, and they all had fancy, funny military names. And they were baby faces, and it was a, uh, they, they were they were good guys, and they played it all for, for laughs, right? This was for chuckles. We've talked about the Misfits in action before. They were led by General Hugh G. Rection. That was the man's name, or joke, funny military name, right? So their leader was General Rection, right? And they had uh, Lash LaRue, who was a guy who was from Louisiana and had shaved his sideburns into the shape of L's. That was his entire his, his entire gimmick, was that he was Cajun with weird sideburns. He was Corporal Cajun, because why not? It's funny. They had Chavo Guerrero Jr., who was a Mexican luchador. And his funny, silly military name was Lieutenant Loco. That's funny. It's alliterative. It's humorous. And then there was Van Hammer, who was a big, tall, muscular, blonde guy who never really got over because he kind of sucked. And his name, his funny military name was Major Stash. And that doesn't mean anything. There's nothing interesting there. There's no humor. It's just, he, 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 I guess he had a must. He didn't even grow a mustache. Okay. Here's the thing with Van Hammer. Van Hammer's gimmick before he, you know, got quote unquote fired and joined to the Misfits in action was that he was a big dumb stoner, right? That was his gimmick. That was his gimmick. And also it was kind of an extension of his personality. He was a big dumb stoner. So when they were coming up with a silly military name for him, they wanted to call him Private Stash. Because if you're a big dumb stoner, you would have somewhere tucked away in, among your belongings, a private stash. And that is funny. It's not like the most over the top hilarious joke in the history of the world or whatever, but there's a joke there, right? You can see the nascent beginnings of something funny in this man adopting the moniker private stash. Okay? What follows is a true fact about professional wrestling. Van Hammer, when approached with the idea that his silly joke, fake ass military name, in what was on story, on camera, in canon, a silly joke, fake military stable. When approach, it's not like his gimmick was you're in the army. It's not like he was getting a new gimmick as a former soldier turned wrestler. No, the gimmick was these wrestlers are pretending to be army guys. Okay. So Van Hammer was approached with the fake gimmick joke name, private stash as part of this group and refused to take the name because he insisted that his rank should be higher. He wanted his rank to be higher in the in canon silly fake joke army guy group. So rather than have the actual kind of silly joke name of Private Stash, he didn't want to be so outranked by Corporal Cajun Lieutenant Loco and General Rection that instead he became Major Stash, which meant nothing. In a related development, Van Hammer never got over, ever. And that is a true fact about professional wrestling. 
And that is the end of today's episode of Good Morning Mini Motorways. Folks, I should be back Monday morning, 7 o'clock Eastern. Monday is a holiday. Um, I don't know if I have a job Monday. Here's the deal. Monday's a national holiday. If I don't have an assignment, I'm not going to set an alarm. So we'll see. Hopefully we'll be back Monday. How about that? Until then, folks, I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy your major stash. Have a good day. Bye-bye.